Hello there, everybody. Oimon here, and welcome back to a Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, when we left off, we dealt with the pro blah, 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 the projectionist. In. And now we gotta go back to see Alice. Yeah, I forgot you could do that. Um, right, so let's go see what bad stuff's gonna happen next. What other fetch quests is she gonna send me off on? Because that's what I've been doing for her, this just fetch quests. Oh, okay. Oh, it was spiffy. Return to the lift. It's time to go home. Yay. You couldn't have given me the gun, by the way. I'm not going to forget that. It just gives me a gun and it just melts. I'm just like, screw you. <sighs> right, okay, so. Always on time. Always save when you go past it. So where are we going? Uh, what? Oh. Not particularly. Okay, if you say so. I'm not sure on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm going to like this. Oh, going up. Oh boy. Really? Could you be any more cliche? going okay black screen that's nice yo oh, what are you doing to me uh behind you uh behind you uh behind you <laughs> okay that's a thing we oh, path of the angel achievement unlocked yay well, there you go. That was the thing. So what happens next? Are we going to go rescue him? All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see what we can find what you wanted me to see. Oh, chapter four already. Colossal wonders. I wasn't expecting that. I thought there might be more to the level. Speaking of which, level S. Rescue Boris. Oh, that's well. Yep, elevator's broken. Chapter 4. Mm. Eat the soup. Was it bacon soup or something like that? Okay, so we're in presumably the lowest level. I don't quite get the level naming. Like, why is level S at the bottom? Accounting and finance management. Grant Coim archives. Red R and DXS. Um, if the door is open, which I'm willing to bet it isn't, Definitely something missing here. Yep, okay. Okay, so we're in the archives. Or maybe it's level S for storage. Maybe that's it. I don't know, it's weird. Hello, little grinning asshole. Oh, one of them works. I still like that. Ooh. Ooh. Time is money. Taxes. Still listening. Well, that sounded good. That sounded all kinds of good. Yay, lovely. 
we have friggin' weird things. I mean, it almost sounded like the angel character being attacked. Or maybe that was her dealing with Boris or something. I don't know. But then it could have been anybody. Oh, that looks friendly, doesn't it? He will set us free. Are you going to get up? Are you going to start moving? See, this is the thing. The ink... Okay, from what I've worked out, the ink seems to actually be like a living thing. Like, it ma might have some kind of consciousness in it. Or even multiple consciousnesses in it. But it's whether or not people are using the ink to turn themselves into the characters or whether... How oh, is it like a... Got to press a number of books around the area or something. No, so let's look inside first. They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow so he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double-cross an angel and get away with it, <laughs> well, oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars. Mm hmm You see, that's why I feel like are these, like, actual people who have, like, been, I don't know, infected by the ink in some way, or they're using it. And it's like, I don't, it, it's that disconnect between the two ideas in my head that I'm not sure which one is the case. So if we push this book in, because it's glowing. So that's how it works. And now I gotta go find all the others, but I definitely saw one over here. And I definitely saw one, where was it? Around here somewhere, I remember seeing it. Where was it? Ah, here we go. What the? The fuck was that? Okay, so that's happening now. How many more we need? One. Ah. Any more surprises? Anything? Good. Is that supposed to be like a memory or something? Oh, this is good. Oh, enter the darkness. That sounds great. Bye bye. Whoa. Okay, well, at least we know where all that ink is running off to now. Mm, bendy bugger you. We have cages and... Was this stuff always here or is this stuff that's been like... Added since? Why are they in the rock? That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, so what is this? There's coffee, gears. I don't know what that is. Hmm. I don't know. I can get across here if I can find a way to fix this. Repair the bridge. Okay then. I don't have a weapon anymore, so. I don't know. Oh, wait. We need a gear. Can we print a gear from this thing? Is that what we can do? Here, do we like print something out? Nope. Apparently not, so I don't know what that's about. Could just be something Easter egg related. Got a lot of flickering lights. Good job I don't suffer from epilepsy. I mean, dear God. Alright, the handle there. Can I do anything with that? I cannot. Okay, so it's just. Like well, that's good. Okay, I'm 
probably gonna regret this. Hi. Right, I think I see where this is going. Put that in the machine and I get it to print the gear. Or something. Three D printer tech. It's amazing. So, hang on, is this whole building just made of ink? So when I finally defeat the monsters, the whole building just gonna collapse in a tidal wave of thick black ink. That would be a cool spectacle, actually. Hey. This is not going to end so well for me, is it? Yep. Haha. <laughs> oh, he's fake out. Can I get off? Right. Well, that was largely successful. I have no idea what's going on. Well, that's the thing. Hey, there goes the ink machine again. Big bloody machine, I tell you. I keep seeing that in every episode going further down, which just implies that this isn't the bottom of the building. Good for what is it that keeps you going? Is it the thrill of the hunt? The thirst for your freedom? Or perhaps you're just looking for a little friendly wolf. Mm, no, no, not that one. <laughs> Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. Oh dear. Was Boris supposed to be a wolf? Never quite worked out what he was. It's like Goofy. You know, I, I think he's supposed to be a dog, but I'm not sure, because... Yeah, it's weird. So why are we suddenly getting, like, hallucinations and stuff? Are we being possessed by the ink, or are these old memories coming to the surface? Are we high? Oh, we can. That's good. Well, I missed that. Almost. Good job I didn't, really. See, th this is my point. Like, are these... Nom. Uh, are these people that have been possessed by ink? Or are they actual creations? I, that's what I don't... Right. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, don't buy me. I'm okay. Uh, I think I need to get through. That would be, that would be nice. C c can I, can I get through? <laughs> just, just gonna ease my way through, guys. I feel I should apologize. I mean, I'm just gonna go down here now. And hope. Hope that they don't decide to follow me. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go this way. Hello, Bendy. Did he just go shush? Okay then, well that's nice. Oh good, he's gone. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Where on earth are we going to go? 
this way because it's apparently a dead end. Keep expecting those things. Like, are they good? Are they bad? They're probably neither. Um, what's with the thumping and why is it getting louder? Why do they look like Cthulhu with the whole tentacle face thing? That's a bit weird, but uh... Well, you, you do you, I guess. Hmm. No clue what's going on here. Okay, moving on. Swiftly as friggin' possible. Uh, the tents crawling through a vent scene. A classic in almost every horror game. Well, we're out. And we're not gonna keep the light. I mean, it might be bloody useful. Is that mushrooms? Giant bendy statues. How big is this place? Dreams come true. Storage 9. Yep. That's fair. Okay, what's up next? Uh, come up and see me. Do I have to? I've got a hiding spot just in case something decides to come after me. Monsieur Bendy, for instance. I don't know. I also don't know how long this is going to be. This chapter, I mean. The last chapter was a bit long, but it had a lot of back and forth. So they were basically building their own little version of Disney World. I remember when this, um, the first chapter of this game came out, Matt Pat did his, uh, his game theory video on how this was kind of tied into Disney. And like, it kind of parallels real world events that went on between the two big animation studios that, uh, I can't remember what the name of one of them was, but Disney was the other one and Disney ultimately won and the one here clothes or something like that I don't know I'm, I'm hardly an expert on the matter <laughs> let's just go, just go watch game theory map pads video on if you want more information it's a long time since I watched that and th like I said that was back when the first chapter came out so oh good this is gonna go well for me bendy land or bendy hell so, hang on, is this place actually the amusement park? Because I thought this was supposed to be just the studio. Or is this like an, I don't know, an example of it or something? Can't open that up. Don't forget to punch in, it could save your job. It could save your life. Right. Wow, subtle. So I have to play the games to open the door. Is that what you're saying? Based on that cable and all that stuff? 
Great! It's mini game time. Fun for all the family. Uh, anyway, we're out of time. Uh, I didn't realize I was so close to the end of chapter four uh, when I ended the last episode. Obviously, I've never played them before, so. Um, so the thing is, that was kind of short. I could technically have just kept going, I guess, but uh, whatever. It's just one of those things. Anyway, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please remember to all the, all the good usual YouTube stuff. Like the video if you did. Share the video around if you are so inclined. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the game. And, of course, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit the bell because, you know, YouTube is flaky about notifications these days. In fact, I've heard that apparently even if you hit the bell, you still aren't guaranteed to get notifications. So, my advice to you is hit the subscribe button to add to my numbers and then bookmark this, uh, my YouTube page on your, uh, on your, uh, Explorer bookmarks because it's, it's just easier that way. And of course, if you follow me on Twitter, which the link is, of course, in the description below, you'll also get notifications whenever a video goes live. That is independent of YouTube's little notification system, so that is guaranteed, unless the connection screws up somehow. That's not my fault. Anyway, yeah, that's watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part.